of Jesus. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your word. Speak to us today. We are ready to hear your word. Your word is able to change us. Your word is able to lift us again. We bless you and we worship you. We thank you for your faithfulness. You are mighty and you are great. In the name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. You can sit down, praise and worship. God bless you. Uh, we welcome you to this Sunday service. And we appreciate God for his goodness and mercy upon our lives today. I know God has got something for us today. We are coming live from Taveta, Kenya. My name is Pastor Samora Kitengi. And my interpreter is Teacher Stella. We thank God for the past weeks we've been talking about uh, the cost of following Christ. Yes, there's a cost for you to follow Christ. And we read from the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 24 that uh, Jesus told his disciple if there's anybody who wants to come after me he must number one deny himself number two he has to carry his own cross and the third thing he needs to follow me so we, we, we spoke concerning denying yourself we also saw about carrying your own cross are we together and uh, one thing I want to say about carrying the cross when you carry your cross to follow Christ it means that you are committed to Christ and that you give yourself even you can give up your dreams because of God you can give your possession because of God you can give even your own dreams because of God Jesus becomes the most important person in our lives now Jesus said we need to follow him daily what does it mean to follow Christ when you are being told that you should follow Christ what does it mean hallelujah Amen. following Christ is something that you need to do daily it should be a lifestyle and I want to begin by saying this there is what I call that there, there, there are steps okay, that there are steps that are involved when we are coming to follow Christ let us read in the book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 19 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 Akawambia nifuateni nami nitawafanya kuwa wavuvi wa watu And he said unto them Follow me 
and I will make you fishers of men. Amen. He said, follow me. Akasema, and make, and I will make you fishers of men. I want you to see some things there. In the steps that are involved in following Christ, number one, out of this verse we can learn that we need first to receive the invitation from Jesus. We cannot follow Jesus unless he has invited us. So number one, you have to be invited to follow Jesus. That's why Jesus tells them, follow me. And I will make you fishers of men. So Jesus has to invite you. Jesus is the source of the invitation. And you must be ready to accept or to hear his invitation. Number two, it is, it is a call to follow a person. You know, Jesus says that follow me. He is referring to himself. So we are talking concerning following Jesus. We are not talking concerning following a religion. We are talking on following Jesus as a person. That's why we say Jesus, we are born again. Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life. So make sure when you are following Christ, you are following him. Number three, after Jesus has given you an invitation, you need to make the decision to follow him. In other words, following Jesus is a decision. Following Jesus is a choice you have to make. So you choose to follow Christ. You choose to follow his ways. Are we together? So it's a process. It's a process. You, 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 re, you receive the invitation. You begin to follow Christ. And then after following Christ, then now you can receive what he wants. Now, what does it mean to follow Christ? Number one, you can write this. Following Christ means thinking his thoughts. His thoughts. Loving what he loves. Unapenda kile anapenda. Hating what he hates. Unachukia kile anachukia. So when we are saying we are following Christ. Wakati tunasema tunamfuata Yesu. It means that our thinking must be aligned with his thinking. Inamaanisha ya kwamba mawazo yetu lazima yawe kayafanane na mawazo yake. What Jesus hates we should also Hate. If Jesus hates sin, then we need to hate sin. So anything that Jesus loves, then we have to love. And the only way you are following Christ can be seen, it is through your commitment. I know many people do not love commitment. But you cannot follow Christ unless you are committed to him. Number two. 
What does it mean to follow Christ? It means putting Christ first before your personal comfort or relationships. When you are saying you are following Christ, in other words, you make Jesus your priority. You give the first place to Jesus. I say you give the first place to Jesus. So it means putting Christ first before your personal comfort. You put Christ first instead of your comfort. Now, you know, we love comfort. We want to be happy. But when it comes to Jesus or happiness, if you are to follow Christ, then you will choose Christ and live the happiness. Amen. Amdianielewa. Saingine, Yesu anakuwa ni muhimu sana. Sim saingine marayot. Anakuwa ye ni muhimu. Zaidi ya stare yako. Na mara nyingi tunamkosea mungu. Mana tunataka stare zetu kwanza. Tunamweka mungu kando. Now, following Christ. Kumfata Yesu. Means that Jesus you are number one. Inamanisha kuwa mba Yesu webe ni number one. Jesus you are very important in my life. Yesu webe ni wa umuhimu sana katika maisha yako. More than my comfort. Yesu. More than my happiness. More than my relationship. I will show you in the Bible. There are people that came to Jesus. And they told Jesus. I will follow you. You will hear what Jesus told them. Luke chapter 9 and verse 57. Luka tisa mstari wa msina saba Yes, 57 to 58 Luka tisa hamsin na saba mbaka hamsina nane There are people who are following Christ Kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanamfuata Yesu Hiyo ni Luka mlango wa tisa hamsin na tisa Ninasema Aka Aka mwambia mwingine nifuate akasema bwana nipe ruhusa kwanza niende nikamzike baba yangu akamwambia waache wafu wazike wafu wao bali wewe enenda ukatangaze ufalme wa Mungu mm-hmm. mtu mwingine pia akamwambia mm-hmm. bwana nitakufuata lakini nipe ruhusa kwanza nikawaage watu wa nyumbani mwangu Yesu akamwambia mtu aliyetia mkono wake kulima kisha akaangalia nyuma afai kwa ufalme wa Mungu You can leave it there Now Jesus is telling them that it came to pass that as they went in the way a certain man said unto the Lord I will follow thee wherever you go Jesus said unto him foxes have holes Birds of air have nets, but the Son of Man hath nowhere to lay his head. In other words, this person wanted to follow Jesus. But he was not ready to forsake his comfort. And that's why Jesus is telling, because Jesus knows our hearts. Yesu anajua miyoyo yetu. He's telling him that foxes have got holes. Anamambia kwa mba mbuea wanapango. Birds have got a place to rest. Na ndege wanaviota. But I, Jesus, have got no place to rest. Lakini mimi Yesu sina mahali pa kupumia. In other words, Jesus had no comfort. Kwa maneno mengine, Yesu hana stari. Jesus is trying to tell this man, if you want to follow me, 
Yesu anajaribu kumwambia huyu mtu kama unataka kunifuata you must be ready to forsake your comfort ni lazima uwe tayari kuacha stare zako you must be ready to to, to forsake your happiness ni lazima uwe tayari kuacha raha zako so my question is this swali langu ni hili are you ready to forsake your happiness uko tayari kuacha raha zako because of christ kwa sababu ya yesu are you ready uko tayari ask your neighbor Uli can you nyaka. can you forsake your happiness your comfort because of jesus muulize jirani yako kama anaweza kuacha raha zake stare zake kwa sababu ya yesu amesema ni ngumu sana yes amesema ni ngumu sana amesemaje eh Atini? Yes. Anaweza. So you can sacrifice it because of Christ. Unaweza kujitolea sadaka kwa sababu ya Yesu. Verse 59, another one came and said Jesus, I will follow you. Mstari wa 59, mwingine akaja akamwambia Yesu nitakufuata. But he said, let me go first and go and bury my father. Lakini akasema acha niende kwanza nikamzike baba yangu. And Jesus said, let the dead bury their own dead. Na Yesu akamwambia acha wafu wazike wenzao. In other words, Jesus was telling this man. Kwa maneno mengine, Yesu alikuwa anamwambia huyu mtu, If you do not value me more than your parents, more than your family, then you cannot follow me. Yesu alikuwa anamwambia kama uwezi nidhamini kushinda familia yako na wazazi wako, wewe uwezi nifuata. Have you ever read in the Bible the Bible says that if one does not hate his father and mother, He is not fit to follow Christ. Umeisoma kwa Biblia kwamba mmoja asipomchukia babake na mamake ayuko tayari kumfuata Yesu. Let me ask you, have you ever understood this scripture? Wacha nikuulize umeelewa haya maandiko? Because I was asking myself, how can I hate my mother? Nilikuwa najiuliza nitawezaje kumchukia mamangu? How can I hate my brothers? Nitawezaje kuwachukia ndugu zangu? How can I hate my children? Ninawezaje kuchukia watoto wangu? But Jesus is saying if you do not hate your father and your mother then you cannot follow me. Yesu anasema kama uwezi kumchukia babako na mamako wewe uwezi nifuata. Is Jesus bringing enmity between families? Yesu alikuwa analeta kuchukiza kati ya familia I'm asking does Jesus does okay, was it the intention of Jesus to bring enmity Ilikuwa ni hali ya Yesu kuleta uadui kwa familia I want to tell you this Ninataka kukwambia hii He was not saying that you should hate your parents Aku anasema kwamba ni lazima uchukie wazazi wako He was just telling them Alikuwa anawambia that you should value Christ more than your parents Alikuwa anawaambia kwamba ni lazima udhamini Yesu sana kuliko wazazi wako You should value Christ more than your relationship Ni lazima udhamini Yesu sana kuliko mahusiano Because the truth of the matter is this relationship will fail Ah ukweli ni kwamba mahusiano haya yanaweza anguka You can have a husband who calls you sweetie 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 ice and everything Unaweza kuwa na mwanamume ambaye anakuita maneno mazuri hayo But it can fail But the relationship with God will never fail. So Jesus was telling his disciples that you should give me the first place. I should be your first priority. Let me tell you. It is good you are married, you are a wife, you are a husband. But, but before your marriage Jesus should be number one. I say Jesus should be number one. I say Jesus should be number one. Because Jesus is above that marriage. Because that marriage might fail one day. But Jesus will never fail you. In other words, God is seeking the first place in our hearts kwa maneno mengine Yesu anatafuta nafasi ya kwanza katika mioyo yetu it is good to have relationships ni vizuri kuwa na mahusiano but they should be number two. 
Number one should be God. So Jesus is saying, if you want to follow me, I must be number one for you. I must be number one. You cannot follow me if you have not given me the first place. And that is the biggest challenge in the church today. We have given other things priority. And Jesus has become number two. We have given our business priority more than Jesus. We've given our friends first priority more than Jesus. Now Jesus is saying, Yesu anasema, you need to, 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 to give him the first place. Speak to somebody, tell him you need to give Jesus the first place. Amen. 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 Young men and women. Young men and women. You need to invest in your relationship with God. Even when before you, you got before you get married or you marry. You have to have a strong foundation with God. Amen. Amen. Make Jesus your first priority. Make Jesus the most person, the most important person in your life. And when you reach in that level of marriage, that marriage will work because you have given Jesus the first place. Some marriages are not working because we've given Jesus the second uh, position. Jesus should be the center of everything. I say Jesus should be the center of your marriage. Jesus should be the center of your profession. Jesus should be the center of your business. Jesus should be number one. The Bible says Jesus told his, told his disciples seek ye first the kingdom of God. First seek ye first the kingdom of God. And the rest will follow you. The Bible does not say that you should not seek other things. But you should seek first the kingdom of God. Before you seek anything, my brother, my sister, I pray for you that you may seek God first and his kingdom. This life we are living is not permanent. We will grow old. We will grow old. And one day we will leave this world. But there is another life that has no end. And that's why we need to give God the first priority. You will serve him and live with him here on earth. And even when you die, you will still live with him. Please, don't be distracted by the things of this world. Do not be distracted, my brother, my sister. All these things will pass away. You hear that? All things will pass away. That's why we need to give Jesus the first place. We should give him the first place. Jesus is the most important person in our lives. Oh, amen. Number, number, number four. Oh, number, sorry, number three. What it means to follow Christ. It means to recognize that he is the in charge and that I should live my life for him. Remember Jesus is the in charge. 
Kumbuka kwamba Yesu ndiye hakimu. That your life is because of him. Kwamba maisha yako yako kwa sababu yeye yuko. The reason why you are alive is because of Jesus. Uko hai kwa sababu ya Yesu. So your life everything in life you should do for the glory of Jesus. Kila kitu tunatakiwa kufanya haya maisha kumpatia Bwana utukufu. This life is not our own. Haya maisha si maisha yetu. You, it is possible you might be very beautiful. Ah, in, kama inawezekana you can be very beautiful. Unaweza kuwa mwenye sura nzuri. But remember even the beauty has come from God. Kumbuka hata huo urembo wako unatoka kwa Mungu. So everything came from him. Kila kitu kimetoka kwa Mungu. So Jesus should be the center. Yesu ni lazima awe katika. You should acknowledge him to be the in charge. Lazima utambue Yesu awe kiongozi. That any progress and any achievement is in my life is because of him. Kwamba kila maendeleo na vile vitu umepata katika maisha ni kwa sababu ya Yesu. Today I have a car because of Jesus. Leo nina gari ni kwa sababu ya Yesu. Today I have my own house because of Jesus. Leo niko nyumba na nyumba yangu mwenyewe ni kwa sababu ya Yesu. This life I live for him. Haya maisha ninaishi kwa sababu ya Yesu. This life I live for him. Haya maisha ninaishi kwa sababu ya Yesu. In other words it's all about Jesus. Kwa maneno mengine ni Yesu. It's all about Jesus. Inahusu yote ni Yesu. There's a song that says it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Je- everything is about Jesus. The Bible says that everything was created for him and by him. Biblia inasema kila kitu kiliumbwa na yeye na ni yeye aliumba. You were created by him for him. Ni yeye alikuumba kwa sababu yake. Your life belongs to him. Maisha yako ni yake. Everything you do you should do because of Jesus. Chochote unachofanya kifanye kwa sababu ya Yesu. Everything you do do it because of Jesus. Chochote unachofanya fanya kwa sababu ya Yesu. So Jesus should be the in charge. Yesu ni lazima awe kiongozi. Also it means that Jesus becomes everything in us. Inamaanisha kwamba Yesu awe kila kitu ndani yetu. Number four, Jesus becomes everything in my life. Yesu awe kila kitu katika maisha yetu. If you remove Jesus from my life, I am nothing. Ukitoa Yesu katika maisha yangu, mimi ni bure. If you remove Jesus from my life, I cannot be attractive to you. Ukimtoa Yesu toka kwa maisha yangu sitapendeza kwenu The reason why you are sitting there you are listening to me it is because of the Jesus that is in my heart Sababu inayokufanya unaketi hapa unanisikiliza ni kwa sababu ya Yesu ambaye yuko ndani yako Jesus has changed my heart Yesu amebadilisha moyo wangu Jesus has changed my life Yesu amebadilisha maisha yangu Jesus has transformed my life Yesu ametengeneza maisha yangu Remember the scripture said Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Kumbuka ile andiko tumesoma kwamba nifuate na mimi nitakufanya wavuvi wa watu. So there is something I want to show you here. Kuna kitu ninataka kukuonyesha. Whenever you follow Christ, mahali popote unamfuata Yesu. There is a transformation that comes in your life. Kuna kubadilisho kunakuja katika maisha. You will never remain the same even as you keep following Christ. Hawezi kubaki vile ulivyo ukiendelea kumfuata Yesu. Jesus will be doing some transformation in your life. Yesu atafanya mabadiliko katika maisha yako. And that's why he's saying, "Follow me and I will make you." Ndio maana anasema, "Nifuate na mimi nitawafanya." So when you follow Christ, you become something. Wakati unamfuata Yesu, unakuwa kitu fulani. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men Nifuate na nitakufanya wavuvi wa watu There is a transformation and change that is coming to your life when you follow him Kuna mabadiliko yanakuja kwa maisha yako ukimfuata Yesu You are a witness of the things God has done into your life Wewe ni shahidi kwa yale mambo Yesu amefanya katika maisha yako When you got born again and when you compare yourself right now there are many things that have changed in your life Ukijiangalia tangia uokoke kuna vitu vingi vimefanyika katika 
Your attitude has changed. Your character has changed. So when you follow Christ, you don't remain the same. When you follow Christ, you don't remain the same. God changes your life. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. God is making you to be somebody else. God is about to change your life. When people look at you, they will see Christ working in your life. That's why Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live but the life I live I live for Christ it is my prayer that you may live your life for Christ every day when you wake up in the morning when you come out of your house remember you are living because of Christ that Jesus is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm alive that Jesus is the reason why he has given me power to go and do my business the cause of following Christ you need to be committed to him Amen. 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 You know, something you will notice, it is very, very, very strange. When Jesus was calling his disciples, we can read Mark chapter 1, verse 16 to 18. Mark. Mark 1, 16 to 18. Mariko mlango wa kwanza tunaanzia 16 mpaka 18. Yes. Nayo inasema. Mm. Naye alipokuwa akipita kando ya bahari uh -huh. ya Galilaya uh -huh. akamuona Simon uh, na Andrea ndugu. Yes, that Wakitupa, is Peter and his brother. Mm -hmm. Wakitupa charife baharini. Mm -hmm. Kwa maana walikuwa wavuvi. Ndelea. Yesu akawambia, "Njoni munifuate. Nami nitawafanya kuwa Verse 18. Straight away. Mm -hmm. Just repeat it again, verse 18. Look at me here. People are fishing. But when Jesus comes, he sees Peter and his brother. And he tells them, follow me. He does not give an explanation. But the Bible is very strange. Imagine he's telling them, follow me. Biblia inasema immediately they left their net and they followed Jesus. They had no time even to take and collect their nets. When they had follow me, they left everything and followed Jesus. I want to give you another example. Luke chapter 5 verse 27. You remember the tax collector. And later he became the disciple of Jesus. Luke 5, 27. Lawi. Lawi. Yuko kazini, yuko pale, yuko kazini pale kwa tunaita KRA. Si mnajua KRA? Mtu yuko ofisini. Ehe, KRA. Ehe. Akamwambia. Akamwambia. Nifuate. Nifuate. Akaacha vyote. Chamani. Akaondoka. Akamfuata. How is it possible? Inaweze kanaje. Let me ask you. Wacha nikulize. Hebu mgeokie mwenzako umulize 
kama Yesu angekuja ofisini kwako akwambia acha kazi nifuate utamfuata Umepanda tomato ndio msimu wa kuvuna ndio umeita wateja ndio wamekuja pale gari kanta inangojea na ndio tomato ina bei kreti 1000 Alafu Yesu atokezea kwambie nifuate tuambiane ukweli Wangapi watamfuata Yesu wangapi wata, watabakia na kreti za tomato Ati muulize mwenzako atachuzi makreti ya tomato ato ma Yesu amfuate <laughs> It's not easy. It's not easy. But you can see the cost and the sacrifice that the disciples were ready to pay. Remember Jesus has not explained where Jesus is taking them. He has just told them follow me. Kumbuka Yesu hajawaelezea mahali atawapeleka. Are you crazy? And then when their friends are asking them majama mnaenda wapi ha amesema tumfuate si tunamfuata mwambie nyi wajinga nyinyi eh mechanganyikiwa you, you know but they 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 knew walijua that there was something they will get and they will receive because of following Christ. And what they would receive was very important and valuable more than the fishes. Somebody in the office of KRA yule ambaye alikuwa mtoza ushuru and he was asking him to follow you and he leaves everything and then he follows Christ and he became the disciple of Jesus and they are walking with Jesus daily they are going to preach the word they are disciples of Jesus they paid the cost following Jesus is not easy ndio nakwambia wengi tungefuata makreti ya tomato kwanza tuuze tuhakikishe tumeklear sha kwa hivyo yule alikuwa anamwambia ningoje niende nizike baba nitarudi na yule mwingine alikuwa anasema wacha sijawaaga wazazi wangu wacha nikawapatie hugs na kisu bye mama naenda akamwambia you are not worth you cannot follow me akamwambia muwezi kunifuata it is good to love your your your, your people but I should be number one. Do you know even those people is because of God that's why they exist. Unajua hata hao watu wako kwa sababu ya Yesu. Unajua ni kama mtoto mdogo nampa premende. Alafu kimwitisha nipe. Tachi. Tachi. And yet ni wewe ulimpa premende. Sasa God has given us a lot of things. Yesu ametupatia vitu But when he demands those things. Lakini wakati anataka hivyo vitu. Tunakataa. Tunakataa. God has given you time. Mungu amekupatia muda. And he asks you just give me one hour of prayer daily. Na amekuomba lisali moja ya kuomba kila siku. Unakataa. Unakataa. Yangu, yangu. You, you, that is the way we behave before God. And you do your own things. And we forget about Jesus. Number we are number what now? Number 5. Number 5, it means that when you are following Christ, every area of our life is submitted to him. In, in other words he has the lordship of every room in your life kwa maneno mengine yeye ndiye mfalme kwa kila kitu katika maisha yako you know i came to discover this that many christian you are born again but there are there are special rooms that we have not given the keys to jesus kwamba nilikuja kugundua kwamba sisi wa Kristo tumeokoka lakini kuna vitu vingine kuna mahali hatujampatia Yesu There are other rooms that we don't give keys Kuna maeneo mengine nyumba zingine hatujampatia Yesu fungu Jesus you can enter this room Yesu unaweza ingia kwa hivi vyumba I surrender Nimekupatia hivi But this room lakini hii kichumba Please tafadhali This my room Hii ni yangu It is private Hiki ni chumba changu mimi mwenyewe 
So in our lives we need to allow God to reign in every room. Katika maisha yetu ni lazima tumwambie Yesu atawale kwa kila chumba. Is there a room in your life you have not given your the keys? Kuna chumba katika maisha yako hujampatia Yesu funguo. That Jesus is not in control. You are the one who is in control. Kwamba Yesu atawale hapo ni wewe unatawala. Is there a room in your life? Kuna chumba katika maisha yako. You cannot follow him if you have not allowed him that lordship over your life. Uwezi kumfuata Yesu kama hujamwambia yeye ama utawacha yeye awe bwana katika maisha yako. Number 6. Nambari ya 6. Following Christ. Kumfuata Yesu means doing things differently. Inamaanisha kufanya vitu kwa njia isiyo ya kawaida. And spending time with him. Alafu unachukua ule muda pamoja na yeye. You know God wants to have time with you. Yesu anataka awe na muda na wewe. Are you ready to give your time to Jesus? Uko tayari kumpatia Yesu muda wako? Are you ready to sacrifice uh, because of Jesus? Uko tayari kujitolea kwa sababu ya Yesu? Number 7. Nambari ya 7. Following Christ. Kumfuata Yesu means knowing him. Inamaanisha kumjua yeye and knowing what he expects from you na ujue kile ambacho anatarajia kutoka kwako and walking with him na utembee pamoja na yeye you know it's very hard to walk with somebody whom you don't know ni vigumu kutembea na mtu ambaye haujui you cannot go walk with god the god you do not know huwezi kutembea pamoja na yesu yesu ambaye haumjui so what will help you to continue to follow him is to know him more and more kitu kitakusaidia ili utembee na yeye ama umfuate ni kumjua zaidi na zaidi this should be your prayer daily that god i want to know you i want to know you i want to know more of you i want to know you that should be your prayer wacha ili liwe ombi lako kila siku kwamba yesu ninataka kukujua zaidi na zaidi zaidi na zaidi amen amen that was number number 6 number 7 now we are going to number 7 a number 8 we are going number 8 yes it is learning and applying his teachings inamaanisha kwamba ni kukosa learning you learn unajifundisha you learn and you follow and you apply the teachings unafundishwa ama unasoma na kufuata yale mafundisho you know jesus has got a lot to say yesu ana vitu vingi vya kusema we need to have a heart of learning ni lazima tuwe na mioyo ile ya kutaka kusoma that we can apply what he has taught us kwamba tunaweza kutumia kile kitu ametufundisha do you apply what jesus teaches you unatumia kile kitu yesu amekufundisha and you will not find jesus coming here and teaching you jesus is using me to teach you na uwezi pata yesu amekuja kukufundisha yesu yuko hapo kukufundisha wewe but imagine when it comes At the middle of the week you forgotten even everything that was taught on Sunday. Ikifika katikati ya wiki umesahau kile umefundishwa leo Jumapili. How can you apply? Unaezaje tumia lile umefundishwa leo? Imagine the many seminars you've gone. Na vile ametutuma leo kwenu. Remember the many services you have attended. Kumbuka zile ibada ambazo umehudhuria. But when you look at your life there's no big change. Lakini ukiangalia maisha yako hayajabadilika. To follow Jesus means you are committed to learn and also apply his word. Kumfuata Yesu inamaanisha wewe uko tayari kusoma na utumie kile ambacho amekufundisha katika maisha yako. Number 9 It means leaving everything behind. Inamaanisha kuacha kila kitu nyuma and pursuing Christ. Na umfuate Yesu. You leave everything behind. Unawacha kila kitu nyuma and I pursue you Christ. Na umfuate Yesu. Because you are very important. Kwa sababu wewe ni mtu wa muhimu sana. I will follow you. Nitakufuata. Wherever you go. Mahali popote utaenda. Amen. Amen. Number 10. Nambari ya 10. It is becoming like him ni kukua kama yeye and loving him na kumpenda you become like jesus unakuwa kama yesu and you begin to love him na unaanza kumpenda jesus has created us into his image yesu ametuumba kwa mfano wake it is my prayer that god will help you 
that from today you will begin to walk with him that you say Jesus I will follow you regardless of everything I'm ready to sacrifice to follow you I will finish by these questions to you listen to these questions please listen to me listen to me please number one would you still follow Jesus if it means losing your close friends are you ready to follow Christ and to lose your friends? Number two. Number would, would you still follow Jesus if it is means you are separated from your family? when your family rejects you will you still follow Christ number three would you still follow Jesus if it means you lose your reputation na heshima zetu na kwa sababu hatutaki kukupoteza heshima mm. inabidi tunafanya vitu vingine ambavyo havimpendezi Yesu lakini kama tunampenda Yesu hatutaogopa ni afadhali heshima iaribike yes. afadhali sifa iaribike yes. lakini mimi nitamfuata Yesu sasa uko tayari kweli kupokea aibu kwa sababu ya Yesu hilo ndio swali nakuuliza Will you still follow Jesus number 4? Will you still follow Jesus if it means you lose your job? Bado utamfuata Yesu hata ikimaanisha kupoteza kazi yako. Uambie kazi unafutwa ni uamue. Utamfuata Yesu ama utafuata kazi? Yes. Unaweza kusema Yesu acha nikufuate kazi ikae. Are you ready for that? Yes. Number 5. Would you still follow Jesus? if it means losing your own life unaweza bado kumfuata Yesu hata wakati inamaanisha upoteze maisha yako wewe mwenyewe wakati umeambiwa kwamba utauliwa utauawa are you ready to die uko tayari kufa mngiulize mwenzako uko tayari kufa kwa ajili ya Yesu kufa kwa sababu ya Yesu tusidanganyane wapendo muulize vizuri Ingekuwa ni kweli kabisa unaambiwa unakufa kwa ajili ya Yesu. Ukikubali. Unakumbuka na mtoto wangu ni mdogo, nani atamsomesha? Nani atakanyonyesha? Can you can you agree to die for him? May the Lord help us to meditate on him. But all in all I want to say this. Jesus is the greatest gift that you can ever have. In my life. I will confess. That Jesus has been the greatest gift ever in my life. Jesus has made me to be the way I am today. So, purpose in your heart to give him the first place. The other things, you can seek them. But Jesus should be number one. When you want to do anything, ask yourself, what I'm about to do, will it go against God's will? God's what? Because this is not my life. This is your life, Jesus. I love what Joseph, Joseph said in the Bible. When he was given the offer with Potiphar's, Potiphar's wife. Imagine 
Now remember there was nobody at home. So nobody would know what happened. But Joseph, because he knew that he had a relationship with God, this is what he said. How can I sin against God? How can I sin against God. So, the issue here is not between me and you, Potter's first wife. The issue is between me and God. Anything I do, I should measure it to the standards of God. Amen. Chochote kile nitafanya. Si kwako wewe bibi ya potifa na mimi. Lakini ni lazima nisimame kwa ile standard ya mungu. It is my covenant with God that will decide. I better lose everything but do not lose my relationship with God. That, that, that is why Joseph was taken to prison innocently. He did not mind it's better I rot in prison because of God. In other words, God was the important person in his life. I'm encouraging you today. There's no person that is more valuable in your life more than Jesus. He is more valuable than your husband. He is more valuable than your wife. He is more valuable than your friends. He is more valuable than your job. Jesus is the priority. That is my prayer. May we choose this morning to walk with him. Choose to follow him. Regardless the cost. Be ready to deny yourself. Be ready to carry your cross. And be ready to follow him daily. Wherever he goes. I will go. I will follow wherever he goes I will follow wherever he goes you can be sure Jesus will take you to the right place. Jesus will take you to the right place. Jesus will take you to your destiny. Just continue to follow him. Don't be distracted by the fishes. No, 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 no. Just focus on him. And the Lord will bless you. God bless those who have been following us through Facebook. It's our prayer that God will help you to follow him daily. It is not easy to follow Jesus. You must be ready to pay the cost. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those who have been following us that your hand shall be upon them. That Lord, you will become the first prayer priority. You become more valuable than anything in their lives. Father, help them to live for you and to follow you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. As you continue to follow Christ, may God transform your journey. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand.